Well, I don't know about you guys, but doesn't a new month mean a new mystery box? The only question is, which mystery box do we start with? I, I think, think we, we can, can help, help with that. that. I've got to stop leaving Polyjuice Potion laying around. So stick around, guys, and we'll go through this new box by Pop Mart. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, if you've been here before, I think you know my excitement when it comes to a good mystery box. And Pop Mart, in my opinion, is top notch. Uh, I just picked up their, um, uh, what is it called, like the Traveling to Hogwarts uh, box. Brand new, just came out where all of them, uh, all of the figures are in like a car from the train. And the hidden one is the actual Hogwarts Express locomotive. So I am super excited for that one to arrive. But this one is the very first box they came out with. And it has been sitting on my shelf for, for quite some time. So I figured it's probably time to give this one a go and open it up. Very eager to see if I've got that mystery character in here. Uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go out to eBay and find whichever character I miss. But that mystery one's so expensive most of the time. But definitely better than buying two boxes. So without further ado, guys, let's break into this and get going because I want to know if I've got the mystery fi figure in here or not. Now, I don't know if you saw the other unboxing that I did with um, with Pop Mart's mystery boxes. Uh, I was not able to get the hidden character on that one, but I did pick that one up. So that collection is complete. Um, but at this point, very eager because this box has been out put this away this box has been out for quite some time so it's a little bit tougher to find the actual hidden character I know I've seen a few online but let's move this over here because that white is gonna do damage with my video editing and we'll pull this and start with let's go from the middle this time we'll grab one from the middle and see that gives us any kind of luck whatsoever because guys I am super excited now this particular line to me when I originally bought my first Pop Mart box I bought the one that I thought was was super cute but um, this particular line has a more anime feel to it I mean their their characters look a little bit more like that the, the Japanese animation um, they've got that kind of vibe to them now they've got two other sets which you saw in the beginning uh, which are the Chamber of Secrets and the Philosopher's Stone sets and I think those sets are amazing. Now don't get me wrong, the Dumbledore in this set I think is amazing and I, there's other characters that I think look amazing as well but I'm really eager to see if we can get that mystery character. So. Oh, oh, who is that, you say? Oh, we start off with Dumbledore. Yes, yes, pull it for the middle was a success. So, oh, no, oh, there's definitely more stuff in here. Let's get that stuff out. I can feel it, but why is it not falling out? Ah, oh, there we go, there's a stand. And uh, just a stand, just a stand. I thought there was something else in here, but no, there's not. And nothing else in here besides their handy dandy little cards that they put in, in all their figures. Their little cheat sheet. So there's Dumbledore. All right, let's pop that on the ground. Let's get him on his base. And we've got some some guests down here today um, in the uh, old Potteratic cave. And uh, I might have to stop and make sure that they're not eating any of the wrappers down here. So hopefully they'll behave. Uh, this stand is odd to me and probably won't be used. First off, there is no. There's no little prong in a hole, um, and it's actually smaller than than the actual character of Dumbledore himself. So to me, I don't know. I probably won't end up using these, but we'll, we'll just set Dumbledore over here. We'll pop the stand over there out of camera, and let's move on to our next one. So guys, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like these mystery boxes? Because I do. I absolutely love them. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. You know, it's a it's a cool little way to, to add characters to your collection and give you a little surprise at the same time. Now, honestly, 
I don't know if everybody buys them by the box, though. I mean, I know that they're, that's not their intention. They sell them in stores, and you, you know, typically a person picks up one or two. Um, and we've got Professor McGonagall. But I pick up the whole box because you guys know my stance. I mean, I, I truly believe that, I mean, it's the only way as a collector to get the whole collection at the most affordable price. Um, let's take a look at McGonagall. And McGonagall is absolutely adorable. I mean, she's got, you know, like a, a completely different look, but she's got, the, you know, the, like the, the rings around her eyes showing her age as she's looking a little bit more weathered. But I love the hat, her, her little, uh, like, wrap that she's got on and her necklace. I think she is amazing. And, guys, I apologize, but we're going to go back real quick. Not not something I normally do, but I did not give you guys any kind of close-up of Dumbledore, my favorite one, and I, and I neglected him. Dumbledore is absolutely amazing as well. He's got on his, uh, his robes with his beard tied up neatly in the front, his little glasses and his, and his little green hat. I mean, he, he is, uh, once again, just one of my favorite characters. I love adding Dumbledores to my collection. Uh, but um, let's go in for box number three. We're going to keep going down the middle. Keep going down the middle. The middle's been good to us so far. Not that good, because we're still missing that mystery figure. But good enough. So let's see who we've got in this one. And where's our epic? There it is. Let's open, and in this box, we have Hermione. Oh, and she looks amazing. So cute, and I, I can see she's got a little prong on her foot, so her base is going to actually make sense. We'll be using that one for sure. Oh, and there was a wand in there that I didn't see that just fell out. So let's put her on her stand, because she will definitely not stand up without the stand. There we go, and let's get her wand in her hand. Boy, where does that go? I guess it goes right here in this hand. Boy, it's tiny. Very tiny and very tough to get that in here. There's no hole in her hand. I see where it's supposed to sit. I see. Boy, they do not make this one easy. I might have to tinker with this one after the fact because getting this in her hand is not easy at all. It, get it, it stay in her hand, I should say. I got it in her hand, but staying in her hand is a totally different scenario. So, so we'll put that wand over here so it stays safe and get rid of this trash. We'll pull out her card and I will give you guys a close up of Hermione. I mean, Hermione's cute because she's got her little Gryffindor skirt and robe on. I mean, but she's got this little playful, like. Uh, you know, like stride to her that uh, she's got. And then the, the, her long brown hair all poofed up. I I think, again, such a cute addition. Really, really like this one. I will have to figure out how to get that wand to stay in her hand because, man, they don't give you a whole lot to play with there. But there we are. And keep it going. Stick it with the middle. We'll go with the fourth and final one in the middle, and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. But... I am really, really hoping to get that, that mystery one in here. I really want that mystery one. I think it would be a, an amazing addition. And, oh, I looked at the card. I looked at the card. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I know what this one's going to be. It'll be our second version of Hermione. And in this one, let's see. Did they give her a wand again? No, this one they give her a book. But she does have two holes in her feet, so we've got another use for this stand. So let's get this one out and get it all set up for you. I find it odd that with such a small collection of, care, of uh, figures that they duplicate characters. Uh, to me, it seems like it makes a lot more sense to give us some of the characters that we've never seen. Um, ones that, you know, that uh, Pop Mart hasn't put out before. And I think that makes a lot more sense than giving us duplicate characters. But again, what do I know? I don't own Pop Mart. I, um, I just put out suggestions here, people. But you tell me your thoughts. I mean, do you think that you'd rather see um, a fewer, um, less duplicate characters, you know, less variations? Um, or is it something that you're fine with? Because personally, I like a new character. I like, I want to see the Shacklebolts and the and the you know the other Weasley characters that he's never done, the the grip hooks, the stuff like that. 
But with this particular one, I mean, you've got Hermione doing like a, a little wink as she's holding her book, you know, forever in a book, learn, trying to learn new things and become a better witch or wizard. You know, I, I, I don't, I've, I've never really gotten that one. Do we call them witches or is it like actors? You know, it used to be actors and actresses and now it's just actors. You know, it's like a, you know, a unisex phrase. So is wizard a unisex phrase or do we call them witches? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I might have to change my closing to, uh, to, my, to my episodes, but very great addition to the character. We'll put her by her twin there and we will dive back in for yet another one. Oh, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Can we pull him? Can we pull him? We've got eight figures left and... I really want to pull that mystery one. I would really like to go to eBay today and and grab just some random cheap character that I didn't get in this box because I got the mystery one. And we got, ooh, we got Voldemort. Oh, and he looks super angry. I mean, man, does he look perturbed in, in this one. So let's pull out his stand. Yeah, he's got a wand in here. And let's put, give him his wand. Oh. Give him his wand. I don't believe, no, his stand is useless because, again, he's a big, big character, so a uh, big base. So there's no need for uh, for him to have an actual base. Uh, give me one second here as I try and insert this into his hand hole. Man, they do not make it easy. It is very difficult to get these in, and you, you really feel like you're going to break the wand as you're trying to force it in. So, once again, I think we're going to go with the... Uh, off camera. I will put this together off camera. We'll set his wand over here as well. And I will give you guys the close up of Lord Voldemort. Put this card over there. And Voldemort, again, is great. He's got these, these green long robes on. You can't even see his one hand because it's just all covered up by how billowing his robes are. He's got this angry scowl on his face. Uh, I, I mean, a great addition. I, they really are. I mean, I honestly think that Pop Mart does a fantastic job of giving us good characters. Um, diving back in, guys. We've got we're down to down to seven left, and I, I'm thinking not yet. It's not the not the mystery one yet, but I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get the mystery one. So, all right, and this particular one. Throw this over here. Oh, we got Sirius Black. And let's see, Sirius has a stand and a wand. So we'll, uh, uh, we'll attempt to do the wand. His handhold looks a little bit more, um, looks a little bit easier to, to insert something into. So um, give me one second here. There's the wand. So we'll put his wand in here. Maybe not. Maybe not, guys. Boy, they, again, do not make this easy. Well, I got it. I got it, and we do need his stand because he's got some holes in his feet to get him on here. Let's get him in. Oh, nope. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, he's got some very narrow feet. Now, looking at this version of Sirius Black, you can absolutely see the anime element I was telling you. I mean, I like this version. He's he's in his, his dress attire. You know, he's got his, his little vest and his and his sport coat on and his sh pants. And he's got that hair that looks, you know, kind of messed up, but at the same time nice. You know, I, I just, I really like this one. It's a great, great piece to add to the collection, and I'm happy to get a Sirius Black. So, so we'll put Sirius over here and move on to our next one because I want that mystery guy. I want that mystery figure. I think I know what the mystery figure is for this for this set. I think I remember. I uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, uh, but I guess we'll we'll figure it out. I think when I when I see it, I mean, because I'm looking at the characters on the side of the box. I mean, you you look at those characters, you see the mystery one right down there at the bottom. You know, um, I think I know what it is, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I, th I think I'll know it when I see it. So, and in this one, we've got. Snape. Oh, I love Snape. Such great versions of Snape out there. Such a great character. Always with a scowl. You know, I mean, 
I, I love seeing behind the scenes footage of um, of the actors um, while they were filming because you go from a man who was so sour, so unhappy, so always you know just grumpy, um, and then you get to see him you know break into a smile, to laugh, to joke with people and everything because I mean Alan Rickman was such a great actor. I I liked him in anything I ever saw him in, uh, starting with the Die Hard. Um, movie. So I, I absolutely loved his character, old Hans Gruber in there. Um, such a such a loss, but oh, his, his wand goes very nicely in his hand. Let me get him on his stand, and then we will give this guy a close-up here. There we go. And we'll grab his card out. Throw that over here. This out here. So, so once again, we've got old Snape with his black robes and his wrap on, his dark attire. He's got his wand in his one hand and his just his just disdain, you know, I mean look of, of sheer unhappiness on his face. I mean he just just doesn't look um I mean any any more sour than I mean any other Snape character I've ever seen. I just absolutely love uh the way he looks. So we'll set him over there and dive into uh, another one. We've got Four left after this one, guys. Four left. Will I get the mystery? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it's in this one. I don't think it's in this one. But we still got time. We still got four left. We still have four, and I think I'm. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We've got Harry. Harry Potter, guys. And I think how many Harrys are there? Are there. There's only one Harry. So this is the one. That is uh, the the playing character. So if we get another Harry, it is definitely the the uh, the hidden figure because this is uh, the one that we're supposed to have, and I know it's a Harry Potter, so for sure. Um, let me get his wand out. We'll see if this one goes in his hand as easy as as Snape's did. Hopefully it does. It looks like it will cooperate. Yes, it does too. Very nice. Okay. So let's get his card out, set his card over here, and let's get these down here. And we have Mr. Harry Potter in his Gryffindor robes, um, looking like he's yelling maybe uh, Expecto Patronum. And he's got his, you know, his ties actually popped out of his vest and his robes are swinging around as he's yelling out some kind of spell. Maybe, I mean, maybe he's doing Expelliarmus. I, I don't know. But um, he does look amazing. Very, very cute. I think they did a great job on Harry. Uh, let's dive in and go with this one. This this dented box. I don't know. My son is a is a collector of, of other things, and he likes to go with things that make stuff stand out. So it's like the, the hidden and out-of-place items So is, is what he always goes with. Oh, maybe the dented box might be the lucky one. So let's pop into this one and take a look. What do we got in here, guys? We have got Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Is this a? Is this the mystery one? I don't see any other Harry Potter. This has got to be the mystery. I think we got him. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure now. I see. No, I don't think we do. It's Harry with Hedwig. He's on the front of this box, but he's not on the back. Oh, because they replaced him with the. Um, I got so excited for so just for a second. They replaced the um, the twelfth character on the side of the box with the mystery one, but they have him on the front. So, God, I got all excited for nothing. <laughs> Uh, I was really hoping to get the mystery guy. We'll set that over there. But this one is awesome because I believe it comes with Hedwig. I think we've got a Hedwig that he gets to stick on his arm, which is a great little addition. Yes, we do. We got a little Hedwig, and and who doesn't love Hedwig? I mean, come on. There's there's a there's so many different variations of Hedwig out there, and I have quite a few in my collection. But there are some great ones that I am lacking that I would love to get a hold of. But let's get Hedwig on his arm. I think, yep, yeah, that gets him in there nice and tight. And then let's put him on his stand. Goes this way. And hold on. Almost there, guys. There we go. Get this garbage out of the way. And we have another version of Mr. Harry Potter. Harry with his with his robe on, tightly uh, bound up, with his scarf wrapped around his neck like he's basically out in the cold, 
Um, he's got his blue gloves on and Hedwig on his shoulder. I mean, guys, I, I think this is, I think I like this one better than I do the other Harry. But again, the other Harry, I, I love the fact that he's got his wand and he's definitely casting a spell at somebody. So we'll set that one right there. So, 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 so heartbroken. I was so excited for all of three seconds and then, and then heartbroken. So come on, come on, guys. We got three left, three left. Hopefully this one will be our mystery one. What do you think? What do you think? I, I know it's a Harry Potter. So if we get one more Harry Potter, I know that it's the, it's the mystery. Nope, nope, no Harry in this one. We've got Draco Malfoy. So let's grab his card out. Let's throw this trash over here. Let's get his wand and his hand and his stand out because he definitely has a s holes in his feet for his stand. Yeah, the, the stands make a lot of sense and it's something that I wish uh, Funko did for every character just because I, they make so many that don't stand well. Um, even though, yeah, I know, I know, guys, I keep them in the boxes. What do you care, right? Um, but at the same time, it's it's just the principle. Like if you if you planned, if you're one of those people that displays by taking them out of the box, um, I mean, it really stinks that some of these characters don't stand. Um, they're tough to get on their on their feet. So I mean, you end up maybe drilling a hole in in the foot. I, I mean, I don't know if somebody does that or not. I mean, if I was going to display them outside the box and I could not get them to stand, I would absolutely drill a small little tiny hole and then go buy one of those little plastic stands. But Funko, I mean, honestly, guys, with what you with what you charge and what we pay you and the, the fan base that you have, putting a, a, a little stand in each one of these is nothing. Um, so on this one, we've got Draco Malfoy looking over his shoulder with a just a his little evil little look that he has you know always plotting and planning some mischief um he's got his wand out like he's getting ready to spin around and, and maybe throw some shade at somebody you know I, I don't know you you tell me guys but i i like him i think it's a great little character it's a great representation of draco malfoy uh, we'll put him right there and we're down to two we're down to two guys and i don't know I'm not, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good that we got the mystery one. I mean, but, you know, but I still love the characters. I absolutely love everything that we've, uh, we've opened up. Very excited that this is my, uh, um, what we're doing today. Cause I have put these off for way too long and we've got Ron Weasley guys, Ron Weasley. And let's see, no wand for him, but we do have a base that has holes in it. So we will pop that out and get him on his base. So, and again, like I said, I love the fact that we got another, or not another, but a new character, right? Um, when you duplicate characters to me, it just takes a little bit away from, from, the, uh, from the whole thing, just because there's so many characters. Why duplicate? In a box set of 12, all characters should be original characters. There should not be a, uh, a duplicate of anything. But just my opinion, guys. Take it for what it's worth. But here we've got... Ron Weasley wearing his, uh, his, his robes. He's got a little package of every flavored beans on it. In his one hand, he actually has a bean in his hand. But he looks fantastic. I absolutely love the, the reddish, orangish tint that they gave to his hair. I think it's, you know, it's obviously not as um, extreme as some of the oranges that you've seen or, or Funko's orange. But I do like the tone. I feel like it's almost like a, a more realistic tone. Um, so this is a great one. Really, really like that one. And we are down to our last box, guys. Last box. This is the one that makes or breaks us. I mean, we could have the mystery figure in here. We could have a huge celebration. Um, or we can just be happy that we got 12 new characters to add to our collection. Either way, I'm happy. But I would definitely be a little bit happier to get that mystery figure. So let's pull this out and take a look. And we got Ron Weasley. And I was just talking about duplicate characters in a set. Daggone it. So close yet so far away. Well, that's okay. That's okay because um, now this one, in my opinion, 
is a little less, uh, I mean, thrilling than the rest because this duplicate resembles the one holding the flavored beans way too closely. I mean, it is um, just him in a, in a basic stance, um, looking exactly the same as he does almost in the other one. Uh, he is holding a wand, which, man, we have got to work on getting these wands in our hands because these are really tough to do. And I am not going to sit here and, and fiddle with it for too much. Uh, but Ron Weasley. And let's get that over there. And so here we've got Ron again. I mean, now this hair is definitely darker. This is definitely darker hair than the other Ron. Um, I'm looking at them. Uh, but he's I mean, got his, his robes on again, holding his wand. Um, not a whole lot of extra detail on this one, but um, I mean, you guys tell me. L look at the two of these, and I mean, they they look. I mean, even their hair patterns are almost identical. Um, hair coloring is not off; it is roughly the same. It looked a little bit darker for some reason when I was looking at it, but these are literally almost the same character. So, besides holding the every flavor beans, why do this in the same box? Put them in a separate box. Don't duplicate these in a box because to me, again, it kind of cheapens things just a little bit when there are so many great characters you could have added in here. I mean, you could have given us, gosh, I mean, the options are just astronomical. I mean, literally, you could have given us so many other different characters, um, I mean, out of, out of the whole set of movies. I mean, so to give me two Harrys, two Hermiones, two Rons, I mean, just... I don't know, guys. I don't know. But they're all amazing. I mean, they, they all look phenomenal. I love this collection. I think that Pop Mart, again, is top notch. I feel like this particular set is probably, I'm going to call this my third favorite set. Just because the other two that I have are so cute. I mean, they really are the the cutest figures in my collection. I mean, you've, you've got them. I mean, you can actually see them right there. So, I mean, you've got the, the one set that's kind of more playful. you got Hagrid on his motorbike. Hagrid! Hagrid could be in here. I mean, come on! You know? And then uh, the other set is more kind of fun. You know, it's, it's, you know, then they look almost more like adult babies. You know, they, they're all sitting. They've got little pets and, and everything. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. I mean, they really do. Pop Mart gives you some variety, gives you some different stuff that you don't have, adds a different kind of vibe to your collection, or at least a, that section of your collection. So I, I love them. I think they do a great job. But that's it, guys. So no mystery figure which i'll be out there today taking a look for the for the mystery figure for this one trying to see how much that's going to cost me um but i mean you give me your thoughts guys which figure out of all of these is your favorite i mean it's hands down hands down i mean it, but i've got a, a a dumbledore weakness guys i mean he's my favorite character out of all the movies uh, i absolutely love him was heartbroken when he died understand it completely um, but it's such a such a sad moment in the movies. Um, but give me your thoughts in the comment below. Which one of these is your favorite? Would would you guys collect these? Do you want to make these part of your collection? If so, I think Amazon still has this box set available. I don't think any place else does though. I've I've been out there looking. Um, so I mean, again, give me your thoughts below. Also, uh, subscribe, click the bell notification, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram because I, I will definitely probably be doing some, uh, some fun stuff with these guys um, in the near future. So until next time, guys, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.